This is about active learning. I am one of the smartest people here. Hawk. <laughs> they call me smart people. Like, four years, now it's time for me to leave. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Actually, so I used to not pay attention in class. But now, because it's connected, I'm. How long do you get this question? I'm not thinking to myself, I'm not smart someone like you. Do I belong here? This is a very, very common. Uh, I forgot the name of the thing. But. Imposter. Imposter syndrome. Thank you, Steven. This is my. Question. <laughs> I'm just smart at it. <laughs> The imposter syndrome is an unfortunate uh, that takes that takes a lot of students. Most, most of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> And you don't need to come out by yourself. It's out of here. <laughs> I'm too scared to clear. Thank you, but we have been absolutely nothing. And $20 in the pocket and then some sweaty clothes in a gym bag. But let me tell you, I had this one little apartment and on Thanksgiving. <laughs> The bodybuilders from Gorge Gym came to my apartment and they brought me pillows, dishes, silverware, all the things they didn't have. I always tell people that you can call me anything that you want, but don't ever, ever call me a self-made man. They get the wrong impression that we can do it alone. None of us can. <laughs> the whole concept of the self-made man or woman is a myth. I would have never made it in my life without the help. So this is why I don't believe in the self-made man. Why I want you to understand that is, is because as soon as you understand that you are here because of a lot of help, <laughs> then you also understand that now is time to help others. I can believe in absolutely <laughs> nothing. I have twenty dollars in the pocket, then some sweaty clothes, in the gym. So, <laughs> just stop. Facing that video, you can see that it's not about yourself. Can you explain that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about yourself here. You need to see it. It's all about everyone else helping you. Because on the previous slide, it's all about yourself. Oh, Frank, that's deep. You're going back. I'm going to double check something. Okay. Okay, active learning strategy from Google. <laughs> you can learn active learning strategy from all these wonderful websites, like from your peers, you tell me, or just the docs of it. Where's Chang? How are your peers' websites? <laughs> <laughs> they make websites. They make websites. Oh, it's weird. The Yas is on there. We're getting asked for help there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So you can't just go to class, people. If you go to class, you're gonna sit there, you're gonna stare at the board, you're gonna do nothing. It does nothing good for you. So you have to do more than that. Um, you have to ask yourself, what's the point of this material? And why are we even trying to learn it? So how are we even gonna do this? We're gonna do this active learning style. So, and this is gonna help us learn how to be an effectively, effective student and how to improve your current learning methods. <laughs> so, we're going to go through each course and ask ourselves, why are we even doing this? So, Gateway Java, we start off with the basics. Why? It's to teach us how to code. Just the beginning. IP. <laughs> this is useless. <laughs> because you have to know how to store data effectively. And we'll work, you'll probably have a record. Oh, that's also useful coding interviews. I can attest to that. Hmm. You know, stack, trees, all that good stuff. Discrete math. You know what's right? Algorithms, you need to prove them. How do you do that? Discrete math. Algorithms themselves, you need them? Well, actually, I don't know if you would need them. You just need them for an interview. In the real world, I have no idea. Oh, ICPC. ICPC, that's true. You need to put the contest. 
Um, yeah. And once you know this knowledge, you can use it to solve your own problems completely and efficiently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much text. <laughs> I mean, you made these slides for them. <laughs> <laughs> this is, wait, 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 don't put this so much text on screen. That's my bad. You <laughs> choose what to say. I have to, no, I want everything. <laughs> everything I say is important. So, anyways, the three basics, gateway, IP, data structures. All three of them will give you a ton of homework. <laughs> All of them is to help you figure out by experience. This is the active learning. Um, all these three things, it's like the basics of the basics. If you get through these, you built your roots, you built your basic stone. Discrete math algorithms, these are probably some of the toughest classes you took. I never took discrete, I just cared about it. Mm. Um, and all of these have rigorous proofs, rigorous math problems that you're gonna have to think long according to the deep nights. Some people would choose not to have fun and that study for them. So, <laughs> as a freshman, you should not learn how to study. Why? You should be out there having fun, getting connected. <laughs> Who the hell cares about your grade? Uh, not you. True. So. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, okay. <laughs> Talk to your upperclassmen and you go make study groups, flashcards, try everything. It's a learning experience. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of mistakes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, if you can't pay attention in class, um, You gotta find a reason of why you can't pay attention in class. This is from the professor, this is from textbooks. You guys should not try all the different ways and reasons to do it. Okay, this is the best advice I've ever <laughs> And only me. Um, you have to go into the industry, you have to do your own research. <laughs> you take out every day. That's how you save time, people. Mm. And all you have to do is just graduate. <laughs> Who cares about the A? We're not med students. We <coughs> just need to graduate. For now. I get friends. This is probably the most important. How do I make friends? How do you make friends? You join clubs. Oh. You join organizations. You make those connections. Mm. See, if I know Matt, I know everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually that's actually how I have friends. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? This is him. No, last night, I think it was very contradictory. <laughs> okay. No, that's good. That's good enough. Okay. How do I know coding project? How to coding project. How to coding project. <laughs> so, the first thing, you need teammates. You can't do a coding project on your own. How do you do this? You send out random kiosks. You ask. <laughs> you send them your resumes. You tell them. I need a group. They tell them all the available times you have. They tell them why you're a great group member. Um, if things get tough, you always go to office hours. You sit there, you camp there until they get you a solution. Because either they're going to cry or you're going to cry. Okay, 
what do I start? What project? You need technical skills and leadership skills, actually. But. <laughs> but. but. <laughs> Is your last slide just a bunch of assembly <laughs> code? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Could yes. you please tell me how I could use what you have on my side? My actual semester No, is it? Yeah. So, you have to motivate yourself. You got to think about why you're doing semester mm -hmm. What's the point of it? Because okay. actually, right now, there is no point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I've been thinking about this project called Stella. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I don't think that helped Professor. <laughs> Part two. Professor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have questions. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> that is up to you. You gotta go to office hours. Oh. Should I drop this class? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>